of a uh, of a jet. From what I understand, the uh, the outer uh, skeleton of the building, the outer columns was yeah. like a, a fishnet, and you had these inner core columns, which were substantial, thick steel beams to withstand four or five times what the loads were. Got it. The engineers always over-designed a building. No steel frame building has ever collapsed before or since 9-11. So that should say something right there. And it said that Building 7, it was a progressive collapse, that it was caused by fire. But progressive collapse, unlike the Twin Towers, the Twin Towers collapsed from the top down. That's a progressive collapse, sure. floor by floor by floor. But if you look at the videos of Building 7 collapsing, it collapses uniformly. It's collapsing from the bottom. The building stays intact all the way to the bottom Got of the ground, it. and you can see the sides caving in on it. For a building to collapse uniformly, which the videos show, all the load-bearing columns would have had to have failed simultaneously. Now, fire doesn't act like that. I came across an analogy of the Twin Towers, and if you could visualize cast iron stoves, stacked one on top of each other. The stoves up at the top, yes, there's fire and they've been damaged, but the stoves on the bottom, they haven't been damaged. Okay. So the structure underneath all of that is intact. So it's impossible for a building to collapse near free fall speed and increase without a controlled demolition. You're running into the path of most resistance. So something else is going on. I don't believe that it was just uh, the planes or the fires, I think, that and they uh, examined the dust and they found uh, what they call thermitic material, which is like an explosive incendiary, which was in the dust samples, and that's documented. There were reports of the buildings were undergoing an extensive elevator renovation Whoa. in the two or three years prior to. All kinds of work is they had access to the, the core, the cores of the building. And on the day of the attack, the, the elevator company would not assist in the operations of the elevators. And the elevator company Whoa. was the elevator company. It subsequently went out of business. And a couple of years after that, uh, the information is out there. I, at one time when I was heavily engaged in trying to get a new investigation, I, I definitely felt threatened. I felt threatened for my family, um, and it wasn't it wasn't a pleasant experience. You have sworn testimonies from firefighters regarding explosions in the building. They were suppressed. Just somebody making a statement, especially from firemen and police, if they make a statement, I heard an explosion, that's grounds to initiate an investigation. The firefighters, a bomb went off. This, this is their own words made that day. They just ignored it, just like uh, Building 7 was a